Welcome back to the 7 on 8. It is Thursday. That means it's time to ask Ellen and pick her brain, that big brain of hers, about all things weather. Today's question is from Jennifer, and it's about Lake Michigan. She wants to know how the lake changes the overall climate here in our state compared to the states on the other side of the lake and the difference for lakeshore communities compared to those further inland. Very exact question. Yeah, it was very specific <laughs> and uh, surprise, well, not surprisingly, she's a teacher. So she was like, I'm looking for some stuff for my students. So this is the big breakdown and this is a question that I get all the time. So I was happy to do it. Let's start with winter. This one comes a bit more naturally to us here in West Michigan. Lake Michigan provides lake effect snow. So we have warmer water versus relatively colder land and as air rolls across the warmer water it picks up moisture and it throws it inland. So one of the biggest differences is the fact that we are downwind of this. So in places like Wisconsin they don't see nearly as much snow as we do in West Michigan on a normal year because of Lake Michigan. So lake effect snow is kind of a gimme. But here's some other impacts during the winter season. So we're going to break it down by each season. In winter Lake Michigan provides extra moisture not just for snow but also for cloud cover. That's one of the reasons why Grand Rapids is one of the top 10 cloudiest spots in America. Lake Michigan also warms that incoming air, so a lot of times Wisconsin is much colder than us in the winter time. During the springtime, it kind of keeps the inland areas a little bit colder, and it provides a warming buffer for the lakeshore. It arguably can weaken storms as it rolls across Lake Michigan, and it can also produce mirages, which is kind of cool. Summertime, it's all about the lake breeze, so Lake Michigan can actually produce its own thunderstorms, and as they roll ashore, they provide some cooling for us. And then finally, fall, the biggest impact that we see is erosion from this, and we can also see increased water spouts in the fall time. So Lake Michigan literally changes so much of our weather, and it changes it by each season. So interesting, as always. And hello to her class yeah. if they end up watching this. <laughs> Ellen, thank you. If you have a question that you would like to uh, have a answered for this segment, please send us an email at the 7 on 8 at woodtv.com. You can also post it to social media.